They've already coined the nickname Dunk City. From Fort Myers, Florida, and with an enrollment of just 13,500, the 15th seeded Florida Gulf Coast Eagles have quickly became a fan favorite across the nation with their second and third round upsets of the second seeded Georgetown Hoyas and seventh seeded San Diego State Aztecs last weekend. The Eagles have become the first 15 seed in NCAA tournament history to escape the first weekend and advance to the Sweet 16. Three weeks ago, there were, I, I don't think anybody would probably pay any of the media to come to Fort Myers because nobody knew who we were, and they probably thought we was a JUCO or something like that. So this is all amazing, and it's all new. We're all, we are all still new to this. By quickly becoming this tournament's Cinderella story, all eyes are focused on Cowboy Stadium to see if this Gulf Coast team can continue making history. FGC is on the map. A lot of people know about us. There's everybody's coming to practice, and suddenly we're like the team on campus. Yeah. And there's, for example, there are IDs, um, new school IDs, which say Dunk City on it. Not only have the boys from Fort Myers attracted national media, back on campus the team has become its own version of a hero by having fans and fellow classmates swarming them anywhere and everywhere. It's been crazy, like the, the students back home, they're asking for autographs and asking for pictures. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty new. It's kind of surreal. Senior guard and leading scorer Sherwood Brown even had to have a police escort out of lunch at one of the local on-campus restaurants because he had to get to class and couldn't continue signing autographs. The last time the Kansas Jayhawks played the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles was back to start the 2008-2009 season in Lawrence. Kansas won by 40, 85 to 45. It was also the same night the Jayhawks raised their 2008 National Championship banner into the Allen Fieldhouse Raptors. A lot still has to happen for Kansas to face Florida Gulf Coast, but if the Eagles can take down Florida on Friday and Kansas can knock off Michigan, then the Jayhawks and Eagles will square off on Sunday with a ticket to the Final Four in Atlanta on the line. Ball, ball, ball. Matt Gasper, KUJH TV Sports.